Welcome in, along with Mike Renner, I'm Steve Palazzolo, and this is your D Ford free agent profile. Mike, I think the big question with D Ford, is he a one-year wonder? And when we have this pretty deep group of edge defenders when it comes to free agency and the draft, how much willing, how much money are teams willing to pay a guy like D Ford? Can I just read his PFF grades real quick? Do it, yeah, go ahead, please. 55, 53, 55, 64, 59, so that's average to below average and then last year 87.7 we have to know is he a one-year wonder is a one year old well, let me correct you there one year maybe those four games back from 2016 where he got like 10 sacks in right. four games and somewhere in that stretch in the middle of the season so a year in four games but he really <laughs> is a year in four game wonder there has not been anything else over the course of his career to suggest that he's going to be able to sustain this but at the same time there is that year in four games. And what we saw from him was a quick win specialist. He dominated unathletic right tackles in the NFL this season. He had the most pass rushes that within you know 2.2 seconds of the snap wins that we got saw from any defensive lineman all season long. The highest graded wins that we allot to defensive linemen, he had the most. And he had a bunch of force fumbles, a bunch of sacks this past season, by far his best grade. 78 pressures was 25 more than he had in any other season. Will he be able to repeat that? I, I think there is some suggestion that he might be able to because he was injury plagued for a good course of his career, but at the same time, will those injuries continue going forward? Yeah, and this is similar to Demarcus Lawrence. He's also a free agent. We have mm -hmm. a whole video on him as well. Demarcus Lawrence kind of came out of nowhere as well. Olivier Vernon, maybe to a lesser extent, uh, extent went from good to just great one year and really did cash in. Uh, Ford's jump was even bigger than yes. both of those guys, though. He did lead all edge defenders with 78 pressures, 15 sacks by our count, and another 17 QB hits. He even dropped into coverage 107 times, including the playoffs this year. I'm not saying that's what you want him to do, mm -hmm. but for those old school 3-4 type of teams that like to have that versatility, he at least has a experience doing it of course I know Chiefs fans remember him lining up in the neutral zone in the AFC championship but there's more to D Ford's game because he was excellent and had a bunch of games with seven and eight pressures mm -hmm. so that shows just how dominant he can be off the edge yeah I will say though there are some more reasons for a little concern here uh, one being he's not going to play against the run he's not a guy you want even playing inside he's going to be covered by basically only three four teams where he's outside or weak side defensive end you don't even want him going one-on-one -on -one with right tackles in the run game. And the other thing is, this past season at KC, he had more obvious pass rushing situations than basically any yeah. other edge rusher in the NFL. That is the easiest way to rack up pressures, rack up sacks, is when you know you can rear back and attack the passer. You might not get that if you're signing him and you're someone like the New York Jets, you know, someone who's gonna be playing from behind in some games. He might not put up that much production because you might not have as many situations to do so. If you have PFF Elite, go check out Premium Stats 2.0. Go to the D Ford page and check out the grades for yourself. Is he truly a one-year wonder? We'll see if D Ford makes a big chunk of money out in the open market.